Hello and what is going on guys, Tomcat here and in today's video we are going to be doing the towing challenge that I have promised you guys with the FJ46 by 6 Now, I actually, and a lot of you guys informed me of this, completely forgot to scroll down through the wheel and tire list when I was going through the, uh, when I was going through the customization for the vehicle in my original, uh, in my original review video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the, probably we're gonna run with the red body in this one. And, let's see what else. Um... Camper. Whoa! Whoa! Holy crap. We have the utility for that, but the thing is, let's see. Carriage trailer, cistern trailer. Yeah, that'll be our challenge, but for wheels and tires, let's see. We've looked at the Highway Star ones. We're, like, they're kind of just eh. We could do uh, the Swamper Boggers. Dude, those look sick! Those look awesome. But, we've got Boggers and we've got Groundhogs. Now, wow, holy crap, the groundhogs are incredible. They're so freaking wide. What about the creepy crawlers? Those look sweet too, but you know what? I actually really like the groundhogs. The groundhogs just look awesome. They look like they're hardcore, but at the same time, they're not like over the top or anything. They just look good. Now, we gotta move because we're not gonna be able to hook up that trailer while we're just sitting here. At least facing the garage. Alright, let's see. Trailer, oh, there we go. Like, zoom out. Cistern trailer carriage, nah. Cistern trailer for sure. Holy crap. And we're gonna see, pretty much, how far we can go with this trailer before we basically can't go any further. Or until we can't go any further. So, um, I've actually, this particular map, I've not really been here in a long time, and I don't know if it's been updated or changed at all. So I'm quite curious to see if it has. I've only been here like maybe once before, I think, so... Ooh, fuel! Yes! I'm definitely down for some fuel. Oh god. Turning radius is not brilliant. I can tell you that right off the bat. Gotta zoom out already. Holy crap. And yes, now, just to make it even more challenging, we're gonna fill that cistern trailer completely full. I don't know what's going on with the frame rate. For some reason, the frame rate's being a little iffy. Maybe it's that trailer. It probably is. We'll leave it in automatic mode for as long as we can. And then, oh god. Yep, automatic mode is probably done and over with already. Low 2? Top of low 2? Holy crap. Maybe this isn't going to be the... <laughs> wow, okay, maybe this isn't going to be the best approach for that trailer. I mean, I took it... I know I took it to a trails map, but still... I'm going to want... Try low three. Just try it and see what happens. It could just... Yeah, it, we could have to just take another route. Problem is, the trailer is pushing us back a certain direction. And every time we try to come back, it just switches directions on us. Like the bottom of low two. Not even that is getting grip. But I mean, consider how much weight we have behind us. It's getting some resemblance of grip, but it's still not really moving. Yeah, it's barely even moving. We're gonna have to go back. And since the process of turning that trailer around would take so long, we're gonna just go ahead and rescue. And then, yeah, we've got the trailer back there and we'll just take a different route. Because, really and truly, we didn't have to go that way. We just went that way because I wanted a massive challenge. Okay, right off the bat, we got a hill. Go! Yeah, that sucked. Let's see if we can do it maybe in low three. Get a nice charge at that hill. I was able to stick it in high. Nah, problem is it just spins and gets absolutely no grip. Absolutely no grip at all. It's actually somewhat climbing it in low. 
barely, but somewhat climbing it. It can't even get the trailer up the hill. Let me see if we switch trailer types. Take that trailer off and put the carriage tra position your truck properly. Damn it. Let's see. Carriage trailer. Now the carriage trailer's on the back. Carriage trailer shouldn't be quite as heavy as the fully filled cistern trailer, so we should have a little bit more luck getting up these hills. Go! Come on! There you go! It's a hell of a lot further. I just stopped immediately when it started to spin. It keeps pulling it down. It's 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 just struggling with the weight. It's such an immense weight that it's got to pull behind it. I mean, I know this thing can climb, but I don't know if it can climb all that well. The problem is there's only two ways out of that garage area, and they're both hills. How about another approach? Not sure how it's going to work, but it is nonetheless another approach. First thing it's going to involve is a garage rescue. And then taking a look at the map. Now, we could go around this way to get fuel, or we could go around this way and, yeah, there's basically two ways out of here. And that is it. Oh, position truck prop. I'm trying to see if I can do the log trailer, because I want to at least be able to pull one of these trailers. The log trailer, I feel like, is going to be really light until you actually load it up with lumber, but... Ooh, what about the camper trailer? Holy crap, that might be the heaviest one. I mean, we can try... Jeez! Holy crap! Jeez! That's gonna be... That's gonna be tough. We may have to see... Tell you what. Winching may be required. Go, go, go! Alright, low two winch and we are literally we're gonna have to keep bouncing the winch off different trees because that's about the only way we're gonna get this thing up here a combination of you know its power and the winch all right now zoom back out any more winch points maybe some over here no although just as long as we don't tip over We'll be all right. And even if we use the winch, I still count it as, like, technically making it up the hill. I mean, if you think about it, in the long run, you think about how much weight is... Oh, God, the e-brake even has trouble with it. It's that much weight. So, the fact that you use a combination of the winch and the vehicle's power to get it up the hill, I think that's all right. I don't think there's any kind of cheating, you know, in using the winch. And that'll be good. Just, jeez. It unloads so much weight off the vehicle when you do that. Go, come on. Stick with it, stick with it, stick with it. And finally, we shouldn't need the winch anymore. We shouldn't need it. I'm going to disconnect it. Should be all right. Yes! This thing just hauling it up the hill. Damn. Damn. Is trying to find grip. When it eventually finds it, it'll pull, but it's a never ending. Really, what this is is a never ending battle for grip. And there you go. See, it's found it. I mean, if you look at what it has to haul, like, dear God. That's probably the biggest trailer I've ever towed in spin tires. Probably. If I had to guess. Like, because a lot of the other trailers, you know, the lumber trailers and stuff like that, they're not that big. They're nowhere close to that big. 
couple of rocks to go over. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Not, not an issue at all for this thing because it's got a ton of flex and massive groundhog tires, but still. Love watching the suspension work on this thing. It really does just work so well. If you see the trailer flexing, it's like... Like, it. you feel like it's gonna rip in half, but at the same time you know it can't because it's spin tires, but it's like, eh, I don't know about that. It's sketchy. Especially considering the fact that there's a big drop-off right there, and if you go off that, you're done. Like, 100% done. For good. Your run is over. Gotta be careful here. Gotta be really careful here because these rocks will roll down and, like, knock into your truck. And could send you sliding down the mountain. That's another thing that you gotta watch for is the sliding rocks. Now, look at that trailer, though, working its way through the rocks. That's awesome. Off-road camper trailer for the win. Forget a tent. If you got a 6x6 six six FJ40, well, actually, more like FJ45, but still. If you got a 6x6 six six FJ40, you know, don't worry about it. Just pull a massive, you know semi-trailer camper and you'll be good to go really and truly other than the massive hills this thing is dealing with that trailer's weight quite well just works its way right up over the rock come on oh yes not even a problem if it finds grip come on don't tell me that's a problem now. Nope. Nope. Come on. There we go. Again, like I said before, it's all about when and where you find traction. Because if you find it, you're fine. But that's the biggest problem with pulling a trailer like this along the trails. And it's not really even an off-road trailer. It's not like an off-road spec trailer. It's legitimately just a camper trailer that you happen to be towing off-road. Oh, there's the garage. Sweet. Let's see if we shift up to low three. We can do low three, actually, until we hit a rock. I was worried it would start to spin and dig in, but no, we got grip. Oh, God. Let's see if we can do this without a winch. I don't know if we can or not, but holy crap. Oh my god! Dude, it just battled its way up that hill, no problem, while towing that trailer. That That's that's awesome. I give this thing props. I give this thing serious props for that. That takes power and loads of grip. Trailer's bottomed out, I think. Yeah, trailer's bottomed out. That sucks. I'm gonna need a winch for that because not even the power of this thing can, can get that thing unstuck. It's just not gonna happen. Is that enough? Did we get it? We're gonna have to keep pulling. Come on! Oh yeah, there we go. Get rid of you. And continue on the trail. Let's have some interior cam. Yes. It's really loud in here. I like the interior cam, but I like being able to see what's actually happening outside the vehicle, too. Going downhill is kind of sketchy. Ooh. Ooh, that trailer pushes you. Holy hell, that trailer pushes you hard. Yeah, you can break if you want, but, I mean, it's not really going to help you all that much. Because it's just going to come down the hill and crash into you. You actually need to be ready to get the hell out of there if it starts to come down the hill and you need to just floor it and get out of its way because it will just push you off the side of a hill or push you straight into a tree. This is interesting. Hopefully this tree isn't a pain in the ass. Come on. There we go. Just crawl right over it. The thing is, those trees can sometimes trip you up really bad depending on what kind of vehicle you're in. Ew. Bottom the trailer out a little bit. That trailer's low. I mean, it really is for what we're doing. Sticking it high. Come on. Oh, yes. Charge this hill. Holy crap. Trailer stuck. Low three. I was going to try and charge the hill, but the trailer 
is completely bottomed out. And that hill is really, really, really steep. So it looks like we're going to have to take the slow approach. Like, again. Is it the tree that it's getting wedged on? Yes, it is. Oh, and we can't go backwards because we're tied off to a tree. I wonder if we can winch the... We can winch the trailer, but I want to do it effectively. Damn, it's still getting stuck on that tree. Stupid thing. It's not stupid, it's just annoying sometimes. Like, because you're trying to fit the trailer through here, and then it just keeps crashing into that damn tree. Need another approach. Slowly. Come on, slowly. You know what? This is a perfect position to get this thing winched out of here. And maybe, just maybe, to bring that the front end of that trailer around. Yes, we can turn the front end of the trailer. We can get it past it. Yes, that is exactly what I was going for. Now we can get through. So it wasn't bottoming out after all. It was just getting stuck on the tree. I wonder how far we can get up this hill before we just completely and utterly lose all grip. Right about there. And that's it. <laughs> Right about there, and that's it. I'm trying to stay right in the middle of the road so I don't get the thing stuck on any more trees, but no guarantees on that one. Holy crap, the whole truck leaned back like crazy. Alright, don't fail me now, Winch. Come on. Stick with it and pull. Alright, we're gonna need to switch. Work. Should be our last, the last time we need to winch for this hill. Unless the trailer bottoms out, which from what I'm seeing is very likely. Or gets stuck on a tree. Oh yeah, that trailer is bottomed the hell out. Completely. Switch winch points? Yes. Yes, sir. Go, winch. Come on. It's just pulling me off the edge. I keep trying to switch sides of the road, and it sometimes works for you, sometimes works against you. No, oh, get in the trailer, though. Get in the trailer. This is a sketchy situation. It is a really, really, really sketchy situation. But if you guys would like me to pick this up in the next episode, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one, talk to you guys later and hope you guys enjoyed.